Tonight, cleanup continues after a train derailed on Tuesday near the Sarasota Manatee County line. Five of the train cars that toppled over were carrying sheetrock. Yeah, Seminole Gulf Railway operates the train, and the company's vice president told NBC News that they would be working to clear the cars in a safe manner this coming week. News Channel's Brittany Muller joins us now live from the scene with the very latest on the story. Brittany. Josh, Jen, good afternoon to you both. Crews are working to rebuild this track. They'll be here through the week working. Crews have come up with a new mitigation plan. The fire chief says crews decided to keep the propane inside the tanker. Then they'll turn it upright. The track is mangled, five cars toppled over, and a tanker carrying 30,000 gallons of propane is on its side. We're not going to offload that tanker. They want to upright it with the product on board and they think they can put it back on trucks once they have the bypass built and they can put it back on a frame and just take it back down south to Fort Myers area. Southern Manatee Fire and Rescue Chief Robert Bound says his crews are monitoring the tanker using thermal cameras and gas detecting equipment. Seminole Gulf Railway is the operator of this train. We've taken all our factors into consideration, more specifically public safety, which is our primary job and all I can reassure the public is through our presence out there constantly that we are on top of the situation and we have hourly contact with these folks and know exactly what's going on. Chief Bounds recognized the incident happening hours before a train crash in Greece killing three dozen people and weeks after the East Palestine train derailment spilling hazardous chemicals. Everybody's safe right now. We are constantly monitoring the situation. When they do go to upright the tank, uh, we will be there in force just in case there was anything, a leak that happened or whatever. We're prepared to take care of that and mitigate the scene as necessary. Chief Bounds says Seminole Gulf Railway has workers and subcontractors that specialize in this type of debris and cleanup. Fire crews are actively monitoring this situation very closely. They have not found any leaks at this time. The cause of the derailment is under investigation. Okay, Brittany, so we've got this derailment here in the Bay Area. You mentioned the one in Greece. You mentioned the one in East Palestine. I mean, it feels like a lot of incidents in a very short period of time. Do you have any sense of how common these derailments really are in general? Right, we were looking into this, and according to the Federal Railroad uh, Administration, they have reported more than 4,700 derailments across the country last year. 4,700, incredible. Brittany Muller, live for us tonight in Manatee County. Thank you.